Hello everyone, my name is Mia Easy Lay, and today we're going to be reacting to a brand new Pokemon. Um, and I hope that um, I've seen it on Pokemon Go, and hopefully they can change my perspective on it through these videos. But let's get started. Um, there's a new video called Where Are the Mysterious Coins Coming From? So I guess yesterday in Pokemon Go, um, a Pokemon followed you after the Dratini game? Hey Jacques, thanks for sending me that video. I think this might just be the Pokemon I've been hearing so much about. Oh, God. Trainers from all over have reported sightings. Uh, I've got to say, Professor, I'm surprised Gimme Ghoul's showing up in your neck of the woods. Gimme Ghoul? Gimme Ghoul. So that's what this Pokemon's called. I would like someone to Could give me a refund. I don't like this. Could actually be part of its body? It also carries the same type of coin trainers have been finding. That's right. In Paldea, I've seen some Gimme Ghoul that hide in treasure chests. And some that don't. Hmm. The ones hiding in chests are new to me. The fascinating part is, as far as I know, no one's ever caught a gimme ghoul that's not in a chest. The second you get near, they hightail it out of there, dropping a coin as they flee. I don't think we've seen them. So you like get distracted by money? You know, there's actually an interesting story about gimme ghoul and its coins. That no one cares about, so we moved on to maybe a bug Here's type a reveal or final starters. Coin. Once upon a time, a young girl was out on a walk when she picked up a coin. Clink, there's another, said the girl. Wait, what's that? When the mysterious being noticed the girl, it fled through a nearby door. The girl yes. hurriedly chased after it and came upon a treasure chest. Is he supposed to? He's the not even like a mimic. Lurked nearby, staring right? intently at the girl. The treasure chest opened quietly, and whatever was inside met the girl's gaze. Is he like violent at the least? Girl put a coin into the treasure chest. One. She picked up another coin and put it into the chest. Two. Once again, she picked up a coin and put it into the chest. Three. And then Gimme Ghoul cut her throat. Eventually, the chest came to be full of coins. 997, 998, 999. And then she died. Huh? What am I doing with all these coins? This art style is cool, wondered, but now who or what had been so intent on gathering them? What an intriguing tale! It might help us learn more about this Pokemon. No one thinks I that's intriguing. So. It seems to suggest that Gimme Ghoul hiding in treasure chests don't move on their own. They just manipulate people into gathering coins for them. On the other hand, Gimme Ghoul without treasure chests don't seem to manipulate people. Perhaps they're able to go searching on their own. It's very odd for Pokemon of the same Does species. Does it have dowsing mis so machine antennae? Since they're behaving so differently, maybe we ought to consider them separate forms. What do you think? Should we name them? Good idea. Oh no. Let's see. Chest form seems fair for the one that hides in chests. Honey, I'm <laughs> chest form. As for the one that walks around, how about roaming form? <laughs> no, no roaming. Roaming like is for it. Entei and Raikou. So you've never heard of anyone catching a roaming form Gimme Ghoul in Paldea, right? Yep. But out where you are, they don't run away. You said they just tag along near people. Who oh pick God! Up what coins. if you find a shiny roaming Gimme Ghoul? Right. Wouldn't you cry? If trainers out here use that behavior to their advantage. They might be able to catch it. What an exciting research opportunity! Is there anything else you can tell me about Gimme Ghoul? I'd be happy to tell you Maybe everything something I know. interesting. I'll do what I can to help you catch roaming form Gimme Ghoul. Thank you. And I'm sure trainers will also appreciate your help. Now, about those coins. Uh, whoops. There's the bell. Time for class. Sorry, Professor. Gotta run. Before you go, uh, oh well, that's Jacques for you. Always dancing to the beat of his own drum. <laughs> I ought to send him a thank you gift for his help with Gimme Ghoul. 
Maybe a nice postcard. Oh, come on. No. No. Concept here. What if... I stop playing Pokemon forever, release all my shinies, and we pretend Gimme Ghoul never existed and I just played Dead by Daylight. All right, let's watch the second part. There's another video called You've Been Ambushed by Gimme Ghoul. And if you can't tell already, I'm watching these videos. Okay, Litleo's in here. That's good. Cute. Okay, more dogs. <laughs> I think the problem I'm having is I'm a big chest fan, as you can obviously tell, one. And then two, like, one of my tattoos is literally based off of the mimic from Golden Sun. And I, it's not a mimic, though. It's... At least it's not a bug, but I don't get it. Like, why is... So you can't catch it when it's running around. Okay. All right. So Gimme Ghoul, I'm looking right now at the chest form. So it says Gimme Ghoul chest form. Introducing a newly discovered Pokemon, Gimme Ghoul chest form. It's the coin chest Pokemon. Its type is ghost. It is, um, I think that's one foot tall. It weighs 11 pounds. Its ability is called Rattled. Um, so it says it hides inside of a treasure chest. Uh, these Gimme Ghoul hide inside sturdy, ch sturdy treasure chest. While they provide them with a solid defense, the treasure chest weight causes Gimme Ghoul to move slowly, making travel difficult. It is not uncommon for chest form Gimme Ghoul to be mistaken for an antique and taken home and sold in an antique shop. Uh, Gimme Ghoul controls po po Pokemon and people, making them collect coins. I don't know how much the coins thing, like, is this, this isn't Poke Dollar, so I wonder how much coins are going to be referenced and if you're used. Like, is this going to be a new form of currency? Or, or is it going to be, like, an item you collect? Do you know what I mean? Like, are we carrying around coins like we would carry berries or repels? Or is this some sort of, sort of money? Um, you know what I mean? Like, battle points, this, that. Like, I don't understand what the coins are going to have an aspect. Obviously, we've all played those, like, free-for-play games where, like, you have money and you have diamonds and you have, like, you know, um, like, grandma's ointment bottles. I don't fucking know. You know what I mean? I, I, maybe there's a treasure There's a treasure hunt storyline, Black? Okay. Um, let's see. Do you need to win 100? I'm reading chat right now live on Twitch, and it's... Um, if there's a treasure chest, if there's, like, a treasure option, then, yeah, I could kind of see it. But it just, like, this seems, like, too much. I agree with Bear. There's This seems, like, too much for one Pokemon. Like, if there is a treasure chest option or, like, a treasure hunting option, if this is the main choice, like, this is your theme, do you know what I mean? Like, if they were, like, I don't know, remember, like, the Pokemon animes where it was, like, oh, there was a, a Pokemon race and you raced on a Ponyta? Like, okay, cool, yeah, you're riding a Rapidash in a horse race, and maybe there's... That's the point. I, I don't know. Like, if there was, like, a Pokemon... F like, let's go do a Pokemon farm thing, and you had, like, Miltank and Ponyta and, you know, Torchic or whatever, then, yeah, cool, I could kind of see that maybe. But, like, if there is an entire storyline and this is a big base of it, I'm not feeling it. Um, it uses its ghost energies to control its target, forcing them to collect coins... Because it often hides in warehouses, shop corners, and other places people don't freak, people and Pokemon don't frequent, it tends to keep persistent control of those that it does manage to encounter. I don't like the idea of um, someone telling me what to do. Um, personally, as a femme-presenting individual, I've had enough people tell me how I should think. And also as a femme-queer person who plays Pokemon, I've had enough people tell me to go do this or do that when I play Pokemon games as if I don't know what I'm doing. Um... When I'm, in fact, smarter than you. Like, do you know what I mean? You know who you are. But, like, um, this is odd. It's it's the called the coin chest Pokemon. All right, so it's roaming form. 
It doesn't look like a Pokemon to me. It looks like those websites that you would generate a Pokemon through your name. And then it would, like, create something. And honestly, I kind of got better stuff through that. Personally, just me. A lot of people are saying it looks like a Reddit character. Okay. Um, Gimme Ghoul has a second form. It was the Roaming Gimme Ghoul. It doesn't hide in a treasure chest. It's small, carries a single coin, and can be found hiding all over Paldea. However, since they run away as soon as a person approaches... Abra is shook. It seems not a single trainer in Paldea has ever managed to catch one. It looks fake. Surprisingly, roaming form Gimme Ghoul has been spotted in the world of Pokemon Go as well. It appeared to Mr. Jock, an expert in the biology of Pokemon in the Paldea region, and Professor Willow, who have been carrying out research alongside trainers in the world of Pokemon Go. They have joined forces to devise a way to catch it. Maybe there's a thing with that? Um... Okay, well, we've watched the video, and I hope you enjoyed watching the video with me. Um, please, um, we all know that, like, Grieveyard is adorable. We all know that we might have a few problems with the eyeballs on Belly Bolt. Um, I have never looked at a Pokemon and gone, uh, quite as much as I have with Gimme Ghoul. So please let me know what you think and give me your opinion um, as far as will it be on my tea? No. And that's my answer. Um, I would give this, uh, uh, if I had to rate this Pokemon, I would rate it, a uh, easy cutscene to a free promotional time. Please join me live on twitch.tv slash Mia Easy Lay Friday, November 18th till Sunday, November 20th. I stream constantly, but that weekend I will be giving away copies of Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet via digital codes. So no matter where you are, you can have access to your own copy. Don't have the game? Can't afford it? Come in, watch, anyone can join and win a copy of the game or give it to a friend. I don't care. I will also be giving away Mia merch, so please join me live on twitch.tv slash Mia Easy Lay. Um, I still have no idea who my starter is, but I'm leaning towards the kitty. But please enjoy your Pokemon adventures. Do not forget your stunning like, and tell me how much you hate Gimme Ghoul in the comments or live on Twitch. Thank you for watching.